Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today you're gonna learn everything that you need to know about Kepler Wallet, the Cosmos native blockchain interchain gateway. This is one of my favorite wallets and we will see what is this wallet, we will learn about this wallet, how to use it, what's so special about it and why you should start using this wallet right now. So if this kind of content is interesting for you, DeFi, crypto, wallets, Cosmos chains, EVM networks, EVM chains, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification buttons for more videos. Now without further ado, let's get started. So this is the Kepler wallet, it's interchain gateway, it's basically the native uh, wallet for Cosmos blockchain. Cosmos is also referred as the Internet of Blo Blockchains because it's basically a framework, an infrastructure that allow developers to create blockchains from scratch using the Cosmos SDK that is based on the Turner Mint consensus. Now I'm sorry if these are too many new buzzwords for you but don't worry, I'll, we will have another deep dive video tutorial about Cosmos ecosystem and how it works but what you need to know now is basically that it it's a framework and a set of tools that makes it much easier to create your own blockchain and there are different blockchains that are deployed on Cosmos some of them you probably even know for example the Binance chain blockchain is based on Cosmos on Tendermint and Cosmos SDK not Binance Smart Chain this is an EVM chain but the previous Binance chain is based on Cosmos also Secret Network which is one of the best privacy blockchains Secret Network also Kronos which is the crypto.com blockchain Evenmos and a lot of other interesting blockchains are based on Cosmos and it's super cool because every blockchain that has been built on Cosmos, the blockchains themselves can interact with, each, each, with, with each other. And this is what's interesting and good about Cosmos. It's like a hub that connects between different blockchains because they all have the same consensus mechanism and they support the same protocols like IBC, Interblockchain Communication. And using Kepler Wallet, you're able to access all these kind of blockchains that are based on Cosmos. Like exactly like you can access EVM chains using MetaMask Wallet, if it's Polygon, Avalanche, Arbitrum, BSC or Ethereum, using Kepler Wallet you can access all the different Cosmos blockchains, either if it's Terra 2.0 or Terra that is dead already, Cosmos Hub, Osmosis Chain, Juno, Crypto.com chain, Kronos, and all these kind of different chains. Secret network. So this is gonna be using the Kepler wallet extension and it's very, very similar to MetaMask wallet. And I really like the user interface and all these kind of features that it, it, it gives us. And we'll cover them in this video. So stay tuned, we'll go through the wallet, how it works and what kind of features we have, including stakings with very, very nice APR and very, very nice returns. So you can see basically that through the website, you can also stake through the extension, through the wallet, wallet itself you can stake it and earn yield. You don't need to use any kind of external dApp. You can delegate your tokens, basically you are delegating for the validators of the blockchain in order to get this kind of validation rewards because all the blockchains on the Cosmos ecosystem are proof of stake. So you don't need to be a validator but you can just delegate your tokens to validators and you can earn share of the block rewards. Very very similar to mining pools on Ethereum but this time it's just delegation. You can send and receive different tokens on different Cosmos chains, you can add and remove different to Cosmos chains similar to MetaMask, you can add and remove EVM chains and RPC nodes. And of course, the, the one of the most powerful things with Cosmos and with Kepler Wallet, you can bridge tokens use, using IBC, which stands for Inter-Blockchain Communication. So you don't need to use any external bridge that might get be exploited. Inside the Cosmos Hub, there is this kind of Inter-Blockchain Communication protocol that allows blockchain to send and receive value and messages between each other. It's built in the wallet. And of course you have the Kepler Well app that we will see in a moment that shows you all the opportunities that you can uh, take advantage of in the Cosmos ecosystem, different blockchains, different staking and rewards that you can make and this is super, super cool. So once you install the Kepler wallet, by the way, if you want to learn how to set up a new Kepler wallet and to learn about the different features that this wallet have, I will post a video, complete tutorial how to set up securely a new Kepler wallet and use the features in a secure way that your funds won't be 
stolen. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. When I post this video, you will get notified. And this is the Kaplan wallet. This is how it looks like. You can see here, this is my wallet. This is my balance. I can deposit and send money i can stake right now i can get 19.3 percent apy per year for atom which is the native token for the cosmos blockchain cosmos hub but if you click over here you can see that i can change to all the different blockchains so smosis secret network crypto.com all these kind of blockchains are cosmos that, that uh, they are blockchains that are based on cosmos sdk and built on um on Cosmos, which means that you can also bridge easily tokens between one of these uh, to other of these uh, blockchains. Uh, it's built on the Cosmos uh, SDK. All these blockchains are Cosmos based and they are built on the Cosmos SDK. So bridging between them should be very, very easily. And you can simply just change it right here, very, very similar to MetaMask. You can also configure and add some RPC or LCD nodes to your Kepler wallet. And now let's jump, let's get into the rewards and the staking of the Kepler wallet. So here is the Kepler, the wallet.kepler.app, the Kepler dashboard, one of the best UX that I've ever seen for wallets, uh, overview and staking, right? now it's a brand new wallet that was created for the sake of the example so I don't have any funds here but here you can see on the home page the summary of all your assets across all the cosmos ecosystem right now it's on zero because it's new wallet but you can see osmosis cosmos secret network Akash, all these kind of different blockchains, all the assets by blockchain, by token. You can see also the staking uh, information, the NFTs. If you have any NFTs on the Cosm one of the blo Cosmos blockchains, you will see it over here. And if you are uh, participating in governance proposals, because once you hold the blockchain token, you can, uh, you can vote or propose some kind of proposals in the DAOs and the governance of the blockchain. So you can see all the proposals over here. Now, the more interesting part here is the opportunities. So if you go here to chance, you can see all the different opportunities that you can delegate your tokens, your blockchain tokens, coins, actually more accurate to say coins, in order to get rewards. So what you are basically doing, you are delegating and giving or maybe borrowing your tokens to validators that are validating new blocks on this kind of different blockchains and you get some kind of part of the block rewards for example you can delegate your tokens to the cosmos hub blockchains and earn up to 20 percent apr this is cool so if you're exposed to atom tokens you can just delegate it over here using your Kepler wallet and get 20% return yearly return this is super super cool and you can also choose the the validators so you can actually choose which validator you want to delegate your token to either if it's stake fish binance staking dokia capital and you can see the voting power power which means how many atom tokens every validator has the commission that it takes from the reward so this validator takes four percent three percent fifteen and this is the net apr that you're gonna get after the commission for example you can see that stake fish is taking four percent instead of binance staking which is taking three and the APR is quite higher and this kind of validator takes 1% and the APR will be 19% so you can choose which validator you want to stake your tokens and based on the commissions and the voting power and the APR which is quite cool and using your wallet if you have tokens in Cosmos Hub you have Atom tokens you can just click here delegate and right now I don't have any tokens but if I would have tokens I can select the amount Let's do it again. Delegate, select the amount. Let's say, um, I, it, I cannot do it because it's locked because I don't have any tokens, but I just select the amount and delegate the tokens. Now, bear in mind that once you delegate tokens in any Cosmos chain, you have a minimum of 21 days that the tokens will be locked and you cannot withdraw them because this is some kind of uh, mechanism in the consensus of Cosmos. So you cannot just um, basically cheat the system by depositing and withdrawing every single time so you have a minimum waiting of 21 days before you can withdraw your tokens the first time so it's not just pancake swap where you can stake your liquidity pool tokens and withdraw every time this is locked for 21 days which is not much but in crypto time 21 days is ages and yeah that's basically it you have different opportunities osmosis secret so if you are exposure to any kind of these tokens either if it's Osmo or Atom or Secret or AKT or Stargaze. Uh, check, check out these kind of opportunities because you can actually get very, very nice returns using the staking capabilities of Kepler Wallet, the delegation of Cosmos Ecosystem, Evemos,
now with all the recent event of the Nomad Bridge, the APR is super, super high. And that's basically, this is the overview about Kepler Wallet, how it works with Cosmos ecosystem. We'll have more videos in the, in the future about Cosmos ecosystem, about wallet tutorials, how to set up, how to secure your wallet. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or in the Discord community. Thank you so much and I will see you on the next videos. Bye bye.